to my GTA fans, the Zentono is the prize ride, and uh, we can win that by winning like a million kind of races. So, f top three for five days in a row in the Pursuit series. So, quite tricky. I mean, it's about a million euros, so I'd probably just buy it. Um, but here's mine. I mean, that's a black one. Maybe we will go black. But I've parked it in dark light, so let's take it outside just to show you what this is all about. It, this is um, probably a better customization than the actual prize ride. You've got a, like a red, but I think it's that fiery red, um, metallic. It's very nice, very nice indeed. And um, you also get the color coordination on the rims and the, um, the accents on the vents in the rear. But it's a great car to drive, it really is. I'll, I'm going to do the upgrade in here, I'm going to attempt it, go on. But I have problems with mouse and keyboard up doing the um, nonsense in here. And then Matey gets out of the car. Why does he get out of the car every time? Just let me get out of the car. I'll be the decider in that, but it's just stupid auto cheat and mod, right? All right, we're going to modify the vehicle first, and then I'm going to show you what it um, drives like, which is awesome, you know. Um, all is upgraded in relation to armor. You see what I mean? Um, it does that queer thing, and I'm like, I, that really, really frustrates me. That does. And now I've got to use. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. No. <laughs> um, right, engine is done. Right. I'm using the. Um, I never use the joypad for this nonsense. Exhaust. Let's have a look what we can have on the exhaust. So we've got this mega exhaust. Oh freaking hell, this is weird. I don't. You can see I don't play on joypad. Oh, you can go for that one. You can go for one big hole. I like one big hole, the hyper exhaust. So I don't know. I'm not. Good. I could go for that one. I could go for that big circular hole, but I think the angular one suits the rear better. So I'm not going to change that. Obviously, um, can we change the hood? We could put a stripe on it. I don't want a stripe. Um, slippy hood though. It's a bit cleaner. Why not? We'll do that. And this is based on a Lamborghini um, Elemento, uh, but you know. We got the plates. We got a respray. As, I mean, as you can tell, I, I've not. We've not really got a lot of customization. So let's let's have a look at the map code. So they had a black um, on the prize ride. So maybe we can go for one of those kind of colours, a matte colour. I've c I'm coming from a metallic. So I mean, that's all right, isn't it? Dark red, but no. I mean, you could even go something like fo foliage green. No, I'm not allowed because it's it's locked. What do I need to win an air race? I tried to w play air races and nobody joined the session once. So. That's why I've not won an air race. I've not even done an air race. Christ on the bike, GTA. Um, but I don't want to force my chums to do an air race. I should do, really. Um, and let, set, tell them to let me win. I think that is probably the one light grey. I think that is it. All right. Now, that is a bit boring. So, just as a colour alone. So, we go for the classic colours. Frost white does look good, actually. But let's see if we can find something a little bit better. Um, like a green or a red. I mean, we just had a red, but I didn't super... F I wasn't a super fanatical about it. Or even a pale blue would be nice. Pink would work. You could do that. We could do our pink blue. Orange looks great. You notice how the wheels, how they colour up there. So that's why I've not changed the wheels from the stock wheel. Now that is the dew yellow. That looks superb. That is worth considering. I think that really goes with it. I think that really does. Um, I'm going to pick that just for the crack. Just for a holding pattern. That is too green, I think. Lime green is too green. I want to see what the blue looks like though. Ultra blue, I think. Is ultra blue? Is that it? All right, ultra blue isn't as good as I thought it was going to be, and the reds aren't going to be as good. So purple looks pretty good as well. It's all up to you. You know what do you like? What do you like? Well, I like that one. So let's go back to the well, crew emblem. We'll just see where that goes. Goes on the door like so. I'm tempted by it. You know, it goes with the build, but I'm not paying 25 grand for it. Skirts. All right, we've got primary skirts at the moment. Street skirt carbon. But we can go secondary colour. You see the accents of the secondary colour? I think that would be better. Don't know why I didn't do that last time. So let's crack that on. Because uh, that looks better. Spoiler. Now this is um, probably the best spoiler. I assume I've selected it. But nevertheless, let's just see what we have. None looks like that. I mean, none looks pretty damn good, actually. That's a proper bow selector clean build. We could go none. This is probably too chub. Too chub. And that is more elegant. That is too bright. Um, so it's all about how aggressive you want to go, basically. I mean, if we go non, we lose traction. So uh, I'm tempted. You know, I am mega tempted um, to lose a bit of traction just for that build. Do it. Okay, I've done it. 
transmission is there, turbo, wheels, windows. I mean, wheels, you can select different wheels, but these are the stock wheels. We're not going to mess with those. Um, you, you can unlimo it, but I think this, this suits a limo, so we're going to... I mean, we could unlimo. Let's go halfway. Why not? Let's go for light smoke instead. Crack on lads, because I think a darker build, you can, it suits the kind of contrast. So let's exit. Let's get the freak out of here. We've done enough of this nonsense. And I'm going to put my joypad away, because I'm not going to drive this on joypad. We don't need a joypad for this. Where we're going, we don't need joypads. Let's get out. What a beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful car. Great looking Lamborghini. It really is. You've got to admit, it looks superb. Accidentally didn't change the wheel smoke, but it's red, and that is golden, because it looks great anyway so we've lost a bit of traction but this has pretty good traction anyway um, even though I mean it's weird because it's you saw the stats it had like a bar quite far down with the traction but I've driven other cars that lose oh I was looking at oh, sorry guys I just got a text um, and it was quite funny it's like um, enjoy the pens.com um, you'll know what my main subscriber there will know what I'm talking about when they say enjoy the pens.com but I just, I just ruined my Lamborghini for that reason. We don't look at the front. It's a back beauty. Um, this is a great car. This is, I bought this on discount when it was on discount. And this is an old school Lamborghini. This is uh, introduced right at the start of this game, millions of years ago, probably 2003. Not super certain of my dates. But look at the inside of it. I mean, it looks good. It looks pretty good. You can't change any of it. But why, not, why do you need to? Let's, let's come out. Let's come out. Um, now, one thing about this, the Zentorno, um, why it's classic, is uh, it's a great we weaponized vehicle. It obviously isn't a weaponized vehicle. I can't remember where I parked this now. Where did I park it in? Oh, but Jesus. <coughs> Bless me. But driving-wise, it's pretty. It is pretty quick. Now it's in the superclass, so it's no longer competitive for races, as I'll be saying with just about every superclass car that I'm reviewing. Um, it always happens. Who cares about races? You want to drive a car for fun, for free mode, for just enjoying yourself. And um, this is a historic car as well, the Zentorno. Come on. That guy should have looked ahead. Christ, no It's like, it reminds me of driving 100 knots on a motorway. Um, my friend's, not my personal average, my friend's personal average on a motorway, driving to London. Back in the day before speed cameras were on the M25, was an average of 100 knots, 100, 100 miles an hour. So that's my friend, he was a maniac. Ford Mondeo, li living the dream, proper car. Proper car, I tell you. Um, but this car has a good top speed, you know, it's decent acceleration, and, it, you know, it just it's just easy to drive. You know, not much, not much understeer, you just crack on around the corner, it's got awesome grip from that rear wheel drive. Uh, drive train is superb. Um, what else can we talk about? So, the reason why this is kind of a historic car is because you can't get a shot from the back. Maybe we can get the filth out, I don't know. What is he doing? Come on. Where's the filth at, man? There we go. Oh, there's a, um, there's a penumbra. That's a, that's a decent customizationable car. Free car. I didn't put that in my free car guide because I didn't fancy it. But, yeah, that is one to consider as a free car for sure. You want to get that? Definitely recommended. Um, I got. I don't have one. I have one on my on my other character. This is my main character. I don't really use my other character much, other than for guides. Where's the filth? Come on. But the idea is they can't see you from behind, so they can't shoot you from behind. So you'd rock up to them. You see that? Look at that. That is overpowered. Overpowered to the max. You can shoot out of the back, and they can't shoot you. So it's an old old style glitch. The new cars. You can't do that because they block you. Because um, you put. It's like with uh, putting an armoured window on the Helion. Awesome car. Um, awesome off-roader. But you put the armoured window on the rear, and you can't shoot directly out the back like that. So you can see how you could um, kill people. Back in the day, that's what used to happen. You used to have Zentonos rock up, and they'd reverse up to you. We'll just demonstrate it on the filth. This is it. Come on. Old school. Old school video. Oh, damn. I killed them. Sorry. Sorry, filth. Um... Matey, filth, come on. Talk to me, goose. Alright, as long as you don't rock up in the front, we're alright. Come on, get out, man, get out. Alright, he's got a shotgun on me. You see that? 
I mean, they're shooting me from the front now. That's cheating. But if that's a player PvP, you could easily smash the back doors in. You see what I mean? That is why you want to you want to win this. It's only five races, so just crack on. And races are enjoyable anyway. Um, so worth a win, definitely. Um, and you'll save yourself a little bit of money. I'll just wait till it's on discount next and buy it that way. Mighty fine car, recommended. Have a great day. Thanks for watching the GTAs, the wrong ways. Oh, like and subscribe. You know what I'm talking about.